Very simple. You have to ask the question, what are they trying to protect? That's when you know what people are all about. So what's so scary about tackling the concept of whiteness or white supremacy, right? You're obviously trying to protect it for some reason, because this country is white supremacist by design. It's a colonial empire. Are you crazy? Like that's part of it, right? It's built off the back of colonial exploitation. So if you're protecting Britishness as an idea, you're going to protect whiteness as an idea at the same time. And part of protecting whiteness is to absolutely push back against the idea of white privilege, white fragility, even white supremacy itself. I am a straight man, but I interrogate masculinity because I don't owe masculinity anything. I've written books about it for kids to ask why is it useful. I interrogate heteronormativity and I'm, and I'm heterosexual, but I actually don't feel as though it's safe for me to not push back against homophobia. So this government in not pushing back against white supremacy, it's actually saying loud and clear that it's trying to protect the white supremacy of which Britain is born. There's my answer to that question, I don't know. Tell me, what, what do you think um, about this re refusal or resistance to recognizing the idea of white privilege in, in, in our education systems? Um, of course, I can't speak for the government. So I can only speak for myself. Um, but I, what I would say is that I think it's possible um, to be opposed to white supremacy while still being sceptical about the way that terms like white privilege are banded about. Um, because unfortunately, um, wh whether we like it or not, terms like white privilege, especially the way in the ways in which they're banded about, um, are not a useful way of looking at discrimination um, and also the inequalities in our society. Um, I think I think there, there are two reasons why that is. The first reason is that there are certain um, ethnic minority groups in the country that are often racialized as white, and those groups can still be victims of racism. Um, I'm thinking of anti-Irish racism, um, racism and discrimination against traveler communities, and of course, anti-Semitism as well. Many of these groups are often racialized as white. And if we stick very tightly to that idea of, of white privilege, um, then on what basis can we describe or try to understand or try to push back against the racism, against these ethnic minority groups? Um, and I think the, the issue of anti-Semitism as well is, is very um, relevant to this because um, and a new form of anti-Semitism, I, I think, is, is being um, resuscitated on the basis of saying that Jewish people can't be victims of racism because um, they, they can be victims of prejudice, but they can't be victims of racism because they are white. Um, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm also skeptical about the way that many people present inequalities in our society as on one side there's white people and on the other side there's ethnic minority people. And as evidence to explain these two disparities, they bring up education, um, in, in, unemployment, unemployment, um, e e even, even the criminal justice system. What I would say to that is that there are certain ethnic minority groups in the country that do extremely well in terms of education, extremely well in terms of employment, um, I'm, I'm thinking of certain British Asian communities like British Indian, British Chinese. Um, and even if you look at the um, increase in success of certain West African community groups, um, ethnic minority groups. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I think, of course, those minority minorities can still be victims of racism. Um, but we need to be more careful and more subtle in how we understand racism rather than just sticking very tightly to a structural definition of racism without also acknowledging all the nuances and complexities of that as well. Let, let, let yeah. me ask, I know you're desperate to come <laughs> <laughs> Let me Let me ask the next question because I want to make sure our audience get heard too, um, but, sure. but, but find your way to, to, to making your point also, Jeffrey. Um, I want to ask Tommy about this one because you, you quoted you know, the magnificent James Baldwin on, on Shakespeare, the right to read Shakespeare, you said, the human reader. Yes. Um, yes. And you seem to me to be questioning the mimetic model of reading, where you seem to be questioning that that idea that 
to 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 read somebody who resembles you is somehow salutary mm. or important. So mm. how and this is a question for both of you, how important do you think it is for young people from minority ethnic groups to see people who look like themselves included in the school curriculum? I think you might have quite differing views here. Tell me why you first. Um I I I I I would respond to you by saying in, in terms of what precisely? You mean in terms of racial, ra ra similar racial identity, in terms yeah. of a similar national, in terms of similar language? Because again, it, it goes back to the point, which is that our identities are not these sorts of things that you can easily slot. They are complex. Um, so you, you might say that it would be fantastic for me to read um, an, an author uh, who shares the same racial identity to me, um, but on on but that author might write in a different language. That author might um, come from a different religious background to me. Um, that author might um, have a completely different cultural understanding and cultural perspective to me. Um, on the uh, and on the flip side, I I would say in response to that question, um, I I could read, for example. Um, a text by a white author and feel um, a sense of kinship, a sense of belonging, a, can a sense of what this white author is saying speaks to me because what they are saying speaks to me at a deeper level than, our, than identity. It speaks to me at a visceral, human, transcendental level. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I would respond. On, yeah. on what basis is, 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 what I, I, is how I would respond to that question. Yeah. 